In this video, you're gonna learn the benefits of async work management, tools for managing your work async, and we'll look at an example of planning and managing your work asynchronously. All right, so after the ideation phase, we finished that. Now we can actually move into the get stuff done phase, right? It's actually where we start managing the work. Now, the thing is, is we've got to figure out in an async world, how do we manage this work across distributed teams? We're no longer in a single place. We're around the world. How do we do this in an effective way? So that way we can make sure we understand when the work is happening, how the work is happening, and what do we need to get the work done? One of the neat things about applying async tools and techniques to the planning process is that it actually eliminates many of the meetings that we used to have. I'm sure if you look at your calendar, it was your beginning work, you had many planning meetings there. Now we can do that in an async way by leveraging tools like Jira Work Management and Trello to be able to place our work in there and collaborate asynchronously. First, let's talk work management tools. Tools like Jira Work Management and Trello are great tools to help teams collaborate and align on the specific deliverables that they're focused on as part of a project. These tools allow teams to actually track their work as it progresses, and as well as communicate about the work. They can use things like commenting and at mentions to be able to collaborate with each other. Tools like Confluence give our remote friendly teams a home, a place where they can create new documentation, spar on ideas, as well as store information for the long term. Confluence allows teams to work across time zones. You can go onto a Confluence page and add comments and ideas. That way, when you're working with a team member who is 12 hours around the globe from you, you can both be able to provide meaningful feedback on documentation. All right, let's look at an example of planning and managing work asynchronously using Jira Work Management. Let's say I'm on the marketing team at my company and I'm in charge of running a campaign to launch our newest product. If you watched the last video, our team just went through an async ideation process using a whiteboard tool and we took those tasks and we converted them into Jira work management tasks. Well, that's where we're gonna start with this one. We are opened up to Jira work management. This is the tool we're gonna to use to track and manage all of our work across the project. All of our tasks that we just created from the whiteboard tool, they were imported here in our to-do column. And our team here, we're using a pretty simple workflow, right? We have to-do, in progress, and done. And so the way it works is that each one of these tasks, it can move across this workflow. And then all of us on the team, we can have an idea of what tasks are in progress, which ones are done, which ones are still to do without ever meeting in person. All of this can be done asynchronously from wherever we are in the world. So what we've done is gone through all the tasks and assigned owners, we've assigned due dates. And if we click into a specific task, we can see that there's more details here. There's a priority level that we can set and we can actually link out to the deliverables that we're working on. Since I'm responsible for this entire project, I want to keep a pretty close eye on a lot of these tasks. So if I click on this one, defining the contest scope and details, I can see there are some comments that have been added, but I can also see that there is a Confluence page linked here. So that's, that's one of the benefits of doing this asynchronously is that we're tracking the work and your work management, but the actual work that's happening can be linked here and opened up and viewed in Confluence, right? And this is important to just take a pause and talk about the way that I'm using Confluence because this might be a different approach uh, than you've been used to on your team. Confluence is where all of our work actually lives and gets done, right? It's not just a place that we're storing information or using as a reference. This page here that you're seeing is the actual work. The marketing campaign is a Confluence page itself, not just something linked to Confluence. So something to keep in mind as you think about new ways that your team can use Confluence for async collaboration. So that's one of the true benefits of this is the transparency that we're, we're linking where the work is being tracked to the actual work itself so that all of us at any time working asynchronously have insight into what's going on. So most of the time in your work management, I spend time in the board view because that's where I can see where all of the items are in the workflow, which items still need to be complete and follow along overall with the status of each task. But at a high level view, the summary page is really helpful as well. This is where I can just get an overview of everything that's going on with the project, right? So what percentage of 
tasks are in to do, in progress, in done. What's the recent activity? So what's the discussion happening on some of those issues? Priority breakdown and then team workload so I can see the percentage breakdown of uh, individuals on the team and what percentage of tasks they have assigned to them. So this is really great, right? Going back to the board view, instead of having meetings every week for us all to talk about these work items and what's going on, we can do that asynchronously all within this tool. We can add comments and communicate within the JIRA tasks themselves. And again, that transparency of having a project tracking tool where we're tracking the individual tasks and linking that to the actual work completed.